Hi, folks. This is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. I wanna, I wanna pass on one of my, one of my really new discoveries in fishing. It's kind of changing my life, and it doesn't mean that it's any better than what any of you do, but it means that it's something different, and it might be something different for you. I'm, I, I've told you before that I fish a lot of the tributaries, and I have maybe more control over what I'm doing, doing this, especially wading, than if I was fishing the bigger water uh, with, with more current. However, what I've discovered, and I discovered it by fishing trout this year, I was using tiny, little, crappy size, and usually they're sold in the crappy areas. By crappy, I'm talking about a fish now, not a crummy area of a store. But in those areas that con- concentrate on crappy tackle, I found these little bitty one and a half inch to maximum two inch tubes, tube jigs. And I've told you, and to picture a tube, and maybe this will help you understand this. Picture back back in our grandmother's time when they were sewing all the time. And and to keep the needle from going into their thumb or finger, I don't know, I, I wasn't somebody that sewed, but they would put a thimble on their finger. That, was, that would protect them from being punctured by the needle. Well, picture the shape of a thimble. And that's essentially the shape of a tube jig. And these tubes are really fantastic lures. And I, I'm not exactly sure what, they're, what they look like to the fish, but the fish seem to think they look like something that would be good to eat. Well, I've been using these tiny tubes tiny ones on a 132nd ounce jig head for trout. And boy, I'd never used anything like that for trout. And I had one of the best trout seasons ever. So I'm thinking, why won't bass hit these same things? Bass are living in the same waters, in I mean in the rivers that I'm fishing, and they're eating the same food in there. You know, they've only got so much of a choice of what's naturally exists in those waterways. So I started using these same little tubes with ultralight rods and very light braided line and a fluorocarbon leader. The fluorocarbon leader is a must because, well, first of all, the fish can't see it. Does that matter or not? I'm not sure. We think it does. Second of all, it sinks instead of floats. So in the case of the tubes, it helps it it helps it look better in the water. And the third thing is the fluorocarbon line is much more abrasion resistant than other lines. So it's not going to get cut up as easy on the sharp rocks. So I'm using these tiny little tubes and I am catching 18 and 19 inch smallmouth in our rivers. The smallmouth don't say to themselves, that's too little to eat. They say, I might as well. It's floating down by me. I might as well take it. It's easy prey. And so that's what's happening. And honestly, I love this kind of fishing. I love it. I cast the tube out there on light line. It's on a 132nd ounce jig head, so it's going to sink very slowly. It's not going to snag anything like the heavier lures. And that's a big bane on wade fishing these rivers. Once you're snagged, you either got to break that lure off or wade in there and scare everything in sight. So by using something like this, it makes the fishing more fun. Since I've got an ultralight rod, the fish fight like crazy. And it's just something that, that I'm, I'm not doing it just for the fun. But the fun is the, the essence of the sport, the essence of why I go fishing. But I'm doing it because I'm catching more fish. And uh, that, that's a big part of fishing too. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.